This is Mr. Masonette, and in this tutorial, we are going to practice working with combinations. In this problem, it says that Thomas is ordering a pizza. He is going to order two toppings on his pizza. If the pizza place he is ordering from has 12 toppings to choose from, how many different combinations of two toppings can he order? This kind of problem is what's known as an NCR problem. An NCR problem is just simply if you have a whole bunch of items to choose from, but you only want to combine some of those items, then the NCR function will allow you to see how many ways you can combine how many items you want to select from that total. The N in NCR stands for the total number of items to choose from. In this case, that would be the 12 toppings that you can put on your pizza. And the R stands for the number of items that you want to combine or choose at any particular time. In this case, we are choosing or trying to combine two toppings of the 12. And there is a formula that can allow us to figure out how many ways you can combine some of a total amount of items to choose from. And this is the formula right here. Now, after I go through the steps of this formula, I'm going to show you an easier way that you can get to the answer rather quickly or a shortcut. So let's just start by substituting all the values in for n and all the values in for r. So for the numerator here, or n factorial, we're going to substitute n with 12 because n equals the total amount of items you have to choose from. Now for the denominator, we want to write the number of items we are choosing, which is 2 first. And then in parentheses, we're going to subtract the total number of items from how many we want to choose. So we plug in 12 and 2 in for n and r, and we're going to subtract those and do a factorial of that number. Now this exclamation point stands for factorial, which is the process of taking that number and multiplying every number counting backwards before that number. So 2 factorial just means 2 times 1. If you had, say, a 3 factorial, that would mean 3 times 2 times 1. So let's simplify this expression just a little bit. And that would give us 12 factorial divided by 2 factorial multiplied by 10 factorial. And we get this 10 from subtracting 12 and 2. Next, we're going to take these factorial statements and write them in expanded form. So 12 factorial would look like this. We have 12 times 11 multiplying backwards all the way till we hit the number 1. And then for the denominator, we have to write 2 factorial in expanded form, which is just 2 times 1. And then we have to multiply that by 10 factorial, which is just 10 times 9 times 8 all the way backwards until we hit the number 1. Now the next thing we are going to do is perform any cancellation that we have here. And we have a bunch of numbers here that we can divide by themselves. And remember, anything that is divided by themselves equals 1. So we can actually cancel everything starting from 10 all the way back to the number 1. And that would just leave us with 12 times 11 for the numerator and 2 times 1 for the denominator. And we can do a bit more cancellation here. The 12 and the 2 have a common factor, and we can cancel those out. Or we could just look at it as 12 divided by 2, which we know is 6. So we can write that as 6 over 1. Now at this point, for the numerator, we have a 6 and an 11 remaining. And 6 times 11 is 66. And for the denominator, we have 1 times 1, which is 1. And when we simplify that, that would give us 66. So we have determined that there are 66 ways that we can combine two toppings if you have 12 toppings to select from. Now, let's do the same problem, but without the formula. I'm going to show you the shortcut to doing combinations. So let's say you have determined that you know that you are dealing with a combinations problem where you have a bunch of items to choose from, but you're only combining some of those items from the total. So the first thing that you do for the shortcut is you write a fraction bar. And then for the numerator, you write how many total items you have to select from. And then you're going to start going backwards in your factorial. However, you only go backwards according to the number of items you are combining. And because we're combining two items, we just do the first two numbers in our factorial on the top. If we were combining three toppings, then we would do 12 times 11 times 10. 
but we're only doing two toppings, so we just do the first two numbers in our factorial. And for the denominator, you write the number of items you are combining at one time and do that entire factorial. And your problem is already set up. All we have to do is simplify this expression right here. And once again, we can cancel out 12 and 2 and change those into 6 and 1, leaving us with 66 at the top and 1 at the bottom, which can be simplified to 66 ways we can combine two toppings from 12 choices. All right, let's try another example using the shortcut. For this problem, we have to determine how many ways can we combine four letters from the word triangle. Now, in the word triangle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight unique letters. So from those eight letters, we want to see how many ways we can combine four of those. So using the shortcut, we're going to start by writing an 8 at the top and a 4 at the bottom. And for the numerator, we're only going to do the first four positions of our factorial. So we're going to do 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. And this is where we stop because we have written the first four positions in our factorial. And for the denominator, we do the entire factorial. All right, now that our problem is set up, what we do is look for any cancellation. 8 divided by 4 is 2, so we can change this to 2 over 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so we can change that to 3 over 1. And now we have a 3 up here and a 3 down here. And 3 divided by itself is 1. So we can change both of those into 1s. And notice that everything for the denominator has been canceled out to the number 1, which will always happen with combination problems. So let's just multiply what we have left for the numerator, and that is going to give us our answer. We have a 2 right here, a 7 right here, and 2 times 7 is 14. 14 times 1 is 14, and 14 times 5 is 70. So there are 70 ways that we can combine four different letters from the word triangle. And that is how you can perform an NCR function by using a shortcut.